How's it going guys? I am Jay Credo and welcome back to part 3 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge where we took over in our first video the club that was sitting second to bottom in the Premier League, that being Fulham FC and we set our sights on emulating the success of Sir Alex Ferguson's tenure at Manchester United. Now, we got off to an unbelievable start, beating West Ham, and then in the video after that, we knocked Leeds United out of the FA Cup. We have been on a bit of an up-and-down run in regards to domestic competitions, but in the Premier League, we find ourselves sitting 8th and only 2 points away from that magic 40-point number, which will all but secure our fate and save us from getting relegated this season within the Premier League. Can we go on to obtain our first target, or will we fall at the hurdle? Hey, hey. What is the Sir Alex Ferguson challenge, I hear you ask? Well, say no more, guys. You go on and you obtain and you take over the club that is sitting second to bottom on November the 6th within the first season. The same day in which Sir Alex Ferguson took over at Manchester United many moons ago. The first objective is to avoid relegation within your first season and then go on and emulate the success, the amount of trophies within the same amount of time in which Sir Alex Ferguson did so. Again... It's always good to get one over and knock him off his perch. But can we do it, guys? Let's get on over and take a look. So we took over at Fulham FC, where things started incredibly well for us. We took over at the West Ham game, where we actually won 2-0 on our opening game, playing a tick attack system. Things were working very, very well. And then we got into Palace, Brighton and Everton, where things weren't going too great. We had to change things up because we were on a very, very slippery slope. So we changed the formation to that of a 4 to four or basically a 4-4-2 with high and wide wingers now we went on a good run in the league beating man united west brom leeds consecutively but then we got knocked out to forest in the carabao cup quarterfinal and when i came into them um, to fulham i noticed they'd had a good standing in the league cup so far and i was just like come on if we can avoid relegation as well as obtain one of those domestic trophies already within this first season then we are going to be laughing but guys, things weren't great in that front. We then went on to beat Spurs 3-0, Leicester 1 each, Sheffield United 5-1, and then we played Leeds in the FA Cup, where what a game it was as well. Back and forth, went right to the wire, and we knocked them out, winning 3-2 come the end. And then we come back, and we, we basically got brought back down to earth, guys, with a 1-0 defeat to Wolves, beating Burnley 2-0 in the Premier League, and then we went on a horrible run. Getting knocked out the FA Cup fourth round to championship side Bournemouth. And then the run within the Premier League didn't look so great. We played Man City and Liverpool back to back within the space of four days. And only three days later played Chelsea. But we managed to pick up some wins again. Getting on the road guys. Beating Chelsea as well as going on and beating Villa. Drawing against Arsenal. Beating Newcastle. And then... Winning 3-2 against Southampton. Guys, the thing is, we started off at 19th within the Premier League. We are now sitting comfortably in 8th. Two points behind 7th in which is Leeds. And also two points behind that infamous 40 mark. So they say within the Premier League, if you can reach 40 points at the earliest opportunity, then you are in with more of a mathematical chance of avoiding relegation and staying within the league. Guys, we have set ourselves up nicely to do so. And what a team to do it against as well. A London derby, West Ham, the team in which we played to start off this series. Can we kick on, guys? And can we get a positive result? Let's find out. Here we go, guys. It's the 8th of March. We're just about to go and play West Ham. We are sitting on 38 points with a positive victory. We could go on and secure our fate and avoid relegation in this game with a lot of games to be played. Now, guys, we have picked our preferred start on 11. We are going with a 4-4-2 with high and wide wingers. Guys, we've got Aurelio and goal. Anena, Julian Anderson and Brian at the back. Lamena and Agonusi. In the centre midfield with Reed Carvalho on the wings and Ruben Loftus Cheek and Mitrovic up the top. Now, guys, yes, we are in the 8th of March. We didn't take over until the 6th of November. So in turn, we've only gone through the winter transfer window. Again, we, we could have done a transfer special, but we only signed one fella off the bat, and that was to improve our defence. 
And that is Christopher Julian, guys. He looks very, very solid all round. His technical abilities are good. His heading's incredible. He could work on his tackling and his marking. But again, you can see that's going up. And with game exposure as well, I think he's going to be pretty decent. His physical attributes are looking splendid. Jumping, reach, pace and strength are looking arguably the best out of the physical attributes. And some of his mental attributes are looking okay as well. Obviously, we're not going to be occupying him as, as a ball-playing defender. So the vision doesn't really bother me. Uh, the passing is okay, but again... For a standard out-and-out -out central defender, he is looking okay. And we signed it for 12.5 million from Celtic, who in turn, he played 17 games for them in his, in his sort of second season. Uh, was averaging a, a rating of 7.14. He's come into us and played six games, but only averaging a rating of 6.78. Obviously, that does contribute towards the amount of goals that we've actually conceded. But in turn, I think... With a regular partnership being built up between him and Anderson or him and Tosin at the back. I genuinely think he's going to go on and be one of the best defenders we have at the club. Now in turn guys you ask well, what players have we moved on. Let's just take a quick look in that shall we. Let's go into our transfers. Let's get into the transfer history. And ever so slightly we're looking at players that we bought in. Well the only player we bought in was Christopher Julian down at the bottom there guys. And obviously as you can see some of the players we moved on were probably from Congolo downwards. You can't see the transfer budget, so I do apologise. 5.25 for Congolo. Uh, Dennis Odo, 1.6. Hector, again, he was out on loan, but there is a, a, a fee in there too. Fabricio is uh, 1.2 million overall. A couple of loan spells for Sanchez and Cavallo. And O'Neill and Page, we moved on to Wickham, respectively, for 25 and 22k. Now, guys... The team is selected. We are ready to go on and try and secure our fate and avoid relegation at the first time of asking. Can we do it? Come on over. It's match day, baby. We can go on and secure our fate and avoid relegation with three points here against West Ham. It was the first game we played when we took over at Craven Cottage. So why not go on and get a victory today? Let's get into the dressing room. Let's rile these players up, guys. Come on. Show me what you can do. Let's keep this run going. I have faith in you. I have faith in the attack and the midfielders as well. A bit more exuberant. Pump in the fist. I believe it can. He's enthusiastic and determined to exceed. Again, Mario Lemena in that centre midfield is absolutely a brilliant. Let's have a look at the lineup here, guys. Let's go into it. Full whack. Fabianski in goal. He's looking pretty solid so far. And again, Ariola in goal for us. Anena, Julian, Anderson, Bryant, Lemena, Angelusu, Reed, Carvalho, Loftus Cheek. And Mitrovic, again, guys, look at that. We are 26 points. We could potentially overlap leads here with a win too, guys. Massive, massive stake. Let's go and do it at the earliest opportunity. Anena, Lamena. Oh, he has a little brush. But he doesn't get anywhere. Let's get back into it. Come on in, guys. Let's retain this possession. 10 minutes to be played. Let's demand more out of this. Let's see it out there. Mitrovic. Ah, oh, he plays it into trouble. Big trouble indeed. Yarmolenko. Ah, oh, Brian off the line. Great clearance. They're going again. Second phase. Frederick down this right hand side. Ah, uh, Oriola does well. Comes out and collects it. Pins it up to Loftus Cheek. He drops it down to Ingusa. Reed dispossessed easily. Been very, very disappointed with Reed so far this season. And what a shitty goal to concede. Again, like I say, I've been very disappointed with Bobby Reed this season. Uh, never really lived up to his height. I personally don't think. But Lookman is injured, hence why we're playing him. Oh, guys. Brian with a free kick on this left-hand side. Flapiansky comes out and collects it well. And plays it straight down the mixer. Yarmolenko down this left-hand side. I think we're on, a, on the uh, path to getting turned over here, guys. I, I told you. I told you. Absolute joke. Let's skip this. Absolute pish. The rate. This is absolutely shocking. Video's called the Magic 40 for a reason, not the Magic 38. And Goosey, Mitrovic, Lemena, still plenty of time to be played, guys. Still plenty of time. Lemena re-dropping deep. Oh, why are you going from there, man? 
Look up. I'm a bit of savvy about it. berate this even more this is absolutely shocking like i genuinely genuinely you've seen our results thus far you know what i mean our results thus far this season the, the way we played in our first game against them as well but <sighs> dressing room let's get in there let's fucking throw some shit about Point the finger. I expect to see a much better showing for you guys in the second half. Let's break things down. Have a look at some individual um, ratings. Mitrovic and Loftus Cheek up top, not well at all. Lemena not playing too great in the middle of the park. Six point five. I think if you're gonna have anyone playing shit in your engine room, it can't be your, it can't be your playmaker. Surely, Reed's gonna come in on a box to box roll, and Goosey's gonna jump in at the deep line playmaker and just try and keep things ticking over. You know. But again, the centre halves are playing a bag of spanners as well. Reed, oh. Harrison Reed, Decorva Reed, Loftus Cheek, Reed, Reed again, Mitrovic. Oh. He just plays it into danger straight over the top. Why are you committing for? You're meant to be playing a standard defensive line, not I'm going to play in front of the fucking forward. They're turning the ball over well here, West Ham. They're keeping it well. They're playing Rainford well. Lingard, I want to see what he's doing in a full season as well. Be interesting to have a look at that. But again, guys, this ain't happening, is it, boys and girls? This is not happening. Again, DeCorva Reed's coming off for Cavalio's going to go over there. Tom Kearney's gonna, just going to go and fucking play left winger, mate, I tell you. Um, and then we're looking at left back as well. Joe Bryan, Ante Robertson is going to come on for him in turn. We're going to flick things up in a minute. Anderson, don't play around but at the back, guys. They're pressing you so much. Mitrovic, Loftus Cheek, Mitrovic. Oh my, couldn't hit a fucking barn door. Reed, corner in. Anderson picks the ball up on this left hand side. Can he just keep it ticking over? And Gusia, Anderson. Yes, he can. Kearney, he's gone through the back of him. Kearney dispossessed too easy. Anderson retains it, wins it back. And it's a free kick all of a sudden. To uh, and then and then we go three no down. It's it really ain't happening, is it? The magic forty is not happening. What a bit of content it would have been. To be able to release our potential and secure our fate early on. I've got no doubts at all that it's going to happen. But when it's going to happen, that's the thing. Are we still going to be scratching the last sort of five games of the season? Who knows, guys? Who knows? The only way you're going to be able to find out, guys, is if you stay tuned and keep track of the series. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. You have been absolutely awesome as always. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay you. Hey guys, I've been Jay Crado and you have been awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in to another instalment of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge. If you've liked what you've seen, then you know what to do. Stay safe, stay well, stay you.